Okay. So let me show my screen. Can you see it? Okay, fine. So what we are going to demo here today is the cherry, cherry picking truck feature that we are developing on GitLab. This at the moment is under a feature flag, so I'm going to show this on, uh, on one of my projects that I prepared for this demo and it will soon be available for everyone, but it just give you an idea of how this works. So what I've prepared here is this project, which has, um, it's a simple stati uh, static site generator. Actually, it's a, it's a static site, it's, there's no generator, it's just copying HTML files. And so we have a pipeline that deploys to production, to staging, and to review apps, and make use of the, our environment features. So basically, every branch has a review app, so we're going to see a review app, when we merge on master, it will be deployed on staging. But if you want to deploy on production, then you have to change the production branch. So what we're gonna see here is that we were going to cherry pick something on production, on production branch, and this will be tracked in the original merge request. So let's get started. So this is the simple project, and I had already prepared the uh, a tab with, um, this is the production environment. There's a terrible HTML page with this background and a couple of links. And this one is staging, which has some uh, on ongoing development. So we have this unreadable link here that just goes to another page. So okay. staging has a different page than production. Let's get started. So imagine that we want to I will use the web ID so we can see everything within GitLab. We don't have to do shell or things like that. So very simple. I want to change the background of the size. So a uh, simple change. I'm going here in my source. I have the, the side sheet of the, of the website. So I'm going to create a merge request to change it from this light yellow here to, let's say, maybe Aquamarine, yeah, this one. So, just commit. We create a new branch and start new merge So let's get started. Now, assign to myself, uh, just submit. This is the usual merge request page that we know the pipeline is running. So as soon as this finished, we will be able to, to re review our changes live. Let's leave it. Let's give this a couple of seconds. Going. Okay, done. So we can take a look at our review app and obviously it has the content of staging because we started from master, but the background is different. So just take, let's take a look. This is the review app. This is still production and nothing changed. And this is staging and nothing changed as well. So, okay, we are fine with this change and we want to merge this. So very easily, let's hit the merge button. What will happen now is that the review hub will be destroyed and staging will be updated, not, not production. Uh, let's wait for the pipeline to run. And then we will enter the, the core concept of this demo. So 
Uh, as you can see, it's, it is deploying to staging. So let me close this because we no longer need it. Okay, done. So it's deployed to staging, which means that if we go here in the staging tab and we refresh, we have the new background. Again, production will not change. So this is the regular development that we may have. At a certain point, someone may decide that this is so cool that we want to deploy this to production. Only this change, we want to change background and not everything else that is already on staging. So what we can do here is, oh, let me delete this branch. What we can do here is that we can cherry pick this. This can be done in the GitLab UI or with the uh, API requests. These are the two features that are su supported by our tracking feature. So let's go here. As I said, production branch is the branch that gets deployed into production. And because we are extra safe, we want to create a merge request before merging to the production just to review all the changes or together. So production, start new merge request, and we hit the cherry pick button. Okay, this is creating for us a new merge request. I will just submit it. So while this run is on pipeline, we can go back and take a look at what happened in the original matrix, which is not here, but it's here. So matrix number eight, at this point in time, will, okay, refresh. So matrix number eight is merged is deployed only to staging, but now we have this system node, which tell us that I have picked this into this cherry pick branch. So we, in the original merge request, we have a reference to the cherry pick operation. Now let's go back to the new merge request. Is this ready? Let me see. Okay, so we can review our cherry pick operation. So it's exactly like, like production without the page to link, but with the new background. So we are fine, everything is it's okay. It's time to merge this and start our production deployment. Just for double checking, uh, pro production, oh, I removed it. So you have a link, yeah. You have yeah, a link. Yeah. So some controls are over my tab. Let's move that, okay. So here, yeah, this is production and it's still with the yellow background. Okay, so we can merge this. Now, a new pipeline started and this one will perform uh, a production deployment. As you can see here, so let's wait for this to run. Okay, this is a bug in my template. It's, it's nothing to do with the feature. So, is it ready? It's still running. Okay, it should be ready now. Yes, done. Okay, so this is marked as deployed to production, which is the usual operation because this merge request target the production branch. And if we go to production, we'll see the new background. But what happened now is that if we go back to the original merge request, merge request number eight, the one that changed the background color, now it, we can see that it was not only was deployed to staging, but also the production, because we have mm -hmm. the link between the two merge requests. And that's all, this is the feature. Oh, very cool. 
Um, so it actually uh, follows the deployment time of the cherry pick, which previously we didn't get. We only got the, the actual merge request, right? Yep. Can, can you ask again? Yes. Yeah. Previously, we didn't follow cherry picks. Uh, no. Only merge request, full merge yeah. request. Yeah. So the, we, the, we have two new features here. One is this one, the cherry pick information that happens regardless of a deployment. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you pick something, you have a reference between the original merge request and the new one. Even if, if the new one is not a merge request, it can be a direct pick into a branch, you still have the reference because this is linking to a branch, not to another merge request. On top of that, because we now are tracking deployment, if this deployment happened, then we will have this track it as well in the original merge request because that change that he reached the final destination regardless of being a charity for the original merge request branch. This is what we have. Very, very cool. Okay, I will Okay. Uh, 